did you got into Sikhism? Or what, what's the story behind that? So in Rome, we were in the 70s. In the 70s in Rome, it came um, an Italian that was became a Sikh in, in America, in USA, in Los Angeles, because he was uh, following, it was get inspired by Yogi Bhajan. Yogi Bhajan is Harbhajan Singh Khalsa Yogi Ji, the city's in Saib. So he moved there in 1969 and started to spread all the knowledge he had in his hands, which is among us. And so happened that this Italian was there for five years. And then Yogi Ji told him, go to Rome and open an ashram and start to teach all this thing, share. And so it happened, I was lucky enough that I encountered him. And so I started. So 5 a.m. We, in Rome is 5 because Rome can't do 3 a.m. <laughs> so we were doing Jabji. And as soon as I heard Jabji Saib, I was in love with Guru Nanak. Wow. Yeah. The vibration of the that nod of that sound. And so slowly, slowly, I wanted to learn Guru Mukhi. Slowly, slowly. At that time, there were no tapes. There was nothing. So it took me a while, but I learned to read Guru Mukhi. So, so you can read in Punjabi? Achaji, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, it took me a while, but I have the city, you know, the city could get on site here at all. So when I want to take wow. an Nama, I can. And there is the translation in English, so I can, tra- I can read also the meaning in English. <laughs> and how long did it take you to learn Gurmukhi and all that? To me, it took me a long time because I didn't have a teacher, professor. But now, you know, via Zoom and everything... There is a dear friend in Amritsar. She teaches, she's, you know, Indian Punjabi, and she teaches all over, all my friends, all over Italy via Zoom. But at that time, there was nothing, you know. In the 70s, you didn't even have a printing thing. <laughs> so it took me a while, but it was a labor of love, so I don't mind. 